Hello guys, it's me Redfox468. I am doing a little something a little bit more different. As you can see here, it is a digital drawing lesson, sort of, in a way. I don't know. Either way. Um, so, what I forgot to mention... Oh, why is this a different color? Here. What I forgot to mention is that um, there, on the, on the brooms, on the brooms, I forgot to mention that there, there's other things. Uh, so it's gonna be more like a, like sort of a tips. So uh, let's begin with. Uh, so we know about the triangle. Oops, the triangle shaped um, broom where we take this triangle. You know what? Let's, let's make it a different color. Red. So we take this shape, this triangle shape, and then we begin to draw over it. You know, we add the little uh, bristles in the bottom of it, kind of like a little, a little bit like this, kind of give it a little bit of a curve, somewhat. Oops. But it's basically following this triangle shape, and over here it ends up, you know, folding upwards in this sort of manner Oops. it's okay that could be part of it and actually this is how they were back in the days and then the the broomstick was right here they had you know they will wrap it around with a rope to keep it from falling apart and to keep it real uh, snug with the broom, and so you know they, they they were mainly made out of straw, which uh, today in this modern world we still kind of use straw still, it's like very useful, but we also develop into plastic bristles, in, and which last more than straw. So, and continue on with the with the straw brooms, the more more modern ones. They seem to be more ovalish, kind of like a tombstone. <laughs> Sorry, with the the circle on top. And then you know, basic thing, you know, we still draw the little. Brizzles, you know, if you want to be real realistic, you draw them individually or in some way uh, like that. And they generally have, you know, like little bands, like metal bands, metal things, I don't know, I forget, that hold the bristles together. Of course, this ball here is actually very, very exaggerated. Um, it's not like this at all, but it's actually quite smaller. But yes, it, 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 it is exaggerated in sort of a sense. And then they have the, you know, stick going up. And boom. And we have those modern type brooms now. But then we have these. We have a different shape. More like a trapezoid now. And these are the ones that mainly use um, that mainly use the plastic bristles instead of straw, which is more I think it's cheaper to make. I'll imagine it's cheaper. I could be very wrong. And same thing with the other ones, you know, we can still draw the bristles here. No, no problem. 
I mean, we, we can, if we wanted to, if we wanted to, we could have just done this and just drawn. But that will require, like, more strokes, more, more lines. And we could have, you know, just extend these a little bit further. And you know, simple things like this can really bring out the drawing like, a lot. You can apply this to the little wavy, grassy type of bristles that I was making on these other two, on these two as well. For now, we're just gonna be drawing this. And you know, they. So they're, they're mainly made out of plastic and they have this shape, this trapezoid shape. Sometimes, you know, they have a little uh, kind of like a oval shape going around them on top, on top of it. Like that. These, these are very bad doodles, I'm sorry. I'm not really good at uh, digital drawing, as you can tell. And saying you know they have the stick here, which is main, which is the handle. Um, it's made of aluminum, and on the top of the handle it's plastic with a little, uh, the little uh, notch on top of it, so you can like hang it or something if you ever need to, like so. Simple. So these are the shapes that I that I know. Uh, there may be even more. You can create your own rooms if you wanted to. You know, uh, de depending on the if you're telling a story, depending on with de depending on the settings and the time periods, you can choose whichever one. Uh, in the future, you know, what, what what I've seen is now they have now there's the less traditional type of brooms that you sweep instead like sweepers and stuff I don't know if you guys seen them now they're like rectangular it's like that and then they have a uh, like uh, I don't know how to say this but like, like this oh my gosh terrible drawings <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It seems like I'm drawing with the uh, with my mouse, but I'm not. I'm drawing with an actual graphic tablet and my pen. So yeah. <laughs> I'm very bad at actually I'm I'm pretty mediocre in drawing, so I'm not that good. But I do know one thing or another. So yeah, they may be. Okay, let's just imagine these are like straight like these or something. But you know, basically, they you put them on the ground and then you sweep up dirt by you know forward motions and instead of kind of like a a mop, but it sweeps up dirt. Or, very weird. I, it's like a mop and a, and a broom put together, which is awesome. So now you can do two things with one tool. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, but that's basically it. I just wanted to uh, refresh some tips and stuff about uh, the brooms that I forgot to mention of course you can create your own type of broom whatever shape you can go uh, circular brooms or whatnot whatever your whatever you desire whatever you want you can do it futuristic brooms yeah, I, don't, I don't know I, I think this is futuristic right here I think that's futuristic but you know that's that's, that's just me 
But either way, thank you for watching. Make sure to keep commenting, liking, subscribing, all of those things that end end up in ing's. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped in some way. I don't know what way, but I, mean, I hope it helped, helped in some way. And I'll see you in the next in the next one. So until next until next time, sayonara.